Muhammad, Josh, a university graduate. Boy, I have you guys fooled. Yes. Oh, yeah. A man who oh, um, was, a, like it's Harvard. was a teacher in South Korea. That's right. An educator. And um, <laughs> we were talking about a couple things, uh, but... Uh, I have a. We were talking about accents earlier on the show. Mm -hmm. We played an interesting game in which we sp spun the <laughs> accent orifice wheel, if you will. And um, my question is this: Did you ever hear your Korean students make fun of your American accent? Um, that is a, that's a really great question, and they wouldn't make fun of it, but sometimes they would try to just talk like me, and it was it was funny. Yes, yeah. yeah. They would imitate you? Because they couldn't quite get it right. Yeah, yeah. Did oh, they, yeah. Did they like American music and American... They, and, uh, yeah, yep. There's plenty of American culture over there, sure. But they were very, very proud of uh, Korean media. Uh, their their shows and their they were always championed uh, and that, well that's now taken off internationally with absolutely I mean, with obviously with the Korean bands and yeah K-pop and all the m movies and Parasite Squid Game yeah they're huge yeah it's awesome yeah yeah uh, yeah I, I was really grateful to be able to watch and listen to a lot of that stuff while I was over there but I'm wondering I I, I was telling you about getting in my Uber over the weekend and the guy who's been in this country for a few months was cranking. Uh, really dirty hip hop mm. and then country music. Really dirty hip hop. I mean, it was it, it, some hip hop is it has very graphic language. I'm not yeah. being I'm not being critical. I don't know. It's not my and thing. rock and roll has never had graphic language. <laughs> never. No, no. I, I'm not being critical. I'm just saying this was. I think I think one could say safely say that I think hip hop tends to have more graphic language than rock and roll. When I would go to uh, clubs in Korea, there would be a mix of uh, K pop and Korean hip hop and stuff like that. And uh, American, and usually the American stuff was a year or two late, we'd say. It was uh, like stuff that I was well familiar with before I moved over there. And then one song that was always played at clubs, and I would lose my mind and dance, was uh, song number two by Blur, by Blur. And you've heard it. It's oh, yeah. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, that was yeah. Fun. Da, na, na, na. yeah. Yeah, so that, that, that da, made it over da, there. Tom, a lot of uh, people who come to this country, they've learned English from t television shows and music. Sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, this guy was, I'm, I'm, it just, you kind of wonder if. This one poor girl, one of her favorite shows was an American show, and she was trying to ask me if I had seen it. And she kept saying, do you watch Markham and Dameter? And I was like, what is Markham and Dameter? And I go, I'd never heard of it. And she's like, she was getting so mad and frustrated Aww. that I hadn't seen Markham and Dameter. And then finally, after her telling me what it was about, I realized she was asking if I watched Malcolm in the Middle. Oh. Yeah, yes. Oh. Yeah. So th their accents, Konglish is what they called it, Korean English. Yeah. Huh. Just like Spanglish and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I was just kind of so, curious. Yeah. That they, they got a kick out of uh, imitating their American teacher. So they would say things like, uh, oh, I'm Josh, I'll go watch Markham and Dameter. So they so they wouldn't quite <laughs> nail it. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> now, do they have... Uh, oh, I'm Josh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they, Josh, I'm Josh, your teacher. That's what they call now, I assume they, have, they, they, they probably have a lot of American, uh, like, fast food. Not a ton. They had McDonald's, but you could go into McDonald's and get a shrimp burger. And uh, they had uh, Big Macs and stuff like that, but you could also... They had their own fast food, Lotte. Burger was their uh, big fast food. Do they have pizza? Yes, yeah. You could get uh, all was kinds it any good? of pizza. What's that? Was it good? It was good, except uh, one thing I didn't care for was that almost every pizza that you ordered had corn in it. So mm. if I ordered a pepperoni pizza... Why would, did you have to tell him? It that? would arrive, and there'd be pepperoni and corn. Like, <laughs> you didn't have to specify you wanted corn. It would just be on there. Like Does, cheeses. Y yeah. Yeah. But, but there was, like, it, little corn kernels in the cheese. Does Sounds anybody good. do that here? Not that I'm aware of. Mm -mm. I wouldn't mind that. We, my buddy and I went to a pizza place called uh, Dr. Pizza, because why would you not go to <laughs> Dr. Dr. Pizza? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, we walk in, and um, there were just all these really cute Korean women and all, and all this stuff eating there. And we were like, oh, man, we came to the right place. And so we're eating, and the pizza's great, and we're loving it. And, and uh, like, they brought flowers to the table, and we were like, well, this is oh, odd. Nice. Oh. And uh, <laughs> we're eating, and, <laughs> and we're kind of being giggled at, but that happened a lot. Like, we'd go somewhere, and... They, you know, Korean people would laugh at us. And so, we, uh, uh, but eventually we were like, uh, man, uh, did you notice we were the only guys in there? And we walked out and we read the sign more closely. It said, Dr. Pizza, pizza for women. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it was some pizza restaurant <laughs> just for women. Wow. <laughs> An idea whose time has come. Yeah, yeah. That is, that is really odd. It was odd, yeah. It's about time. Pizza's been too masculine for you.